The Department of Economic Development recently presented St. Lucia's Medium-Term Development Strategy, MTDS 2021-2026, to at a United Nations organized meeting of development partners and the government of St. Lucia. The MTDS is the output of extensive stakeholder consultations with the public and private sectors, NGOs and civil society organizations who interrogated St. Lucia's developmental issues and proposed solutions. Paul Alcindor is the acting chief economist in the Department of Economic Development. So it was very opportune for us to be part of the dialogue um, today because as we move from the official launch of the MTDS, now we are going to be going into implementation. And implementation, this is where we need to dialogue further with our development partners to identify resources so that we will be able to have projects, the transformative projects that we have identified for our process that we can actually implement them to be able to have a transformative impact, impact and to improve the quality of life of the people of St. Lucia. Development partners work bilaterally with government, providing support and aid in various areas. UN Country Coordination Officer for St. Lucia, Dr. Lorraine Nicholas, said the purpose of the meeting was to improve the delivery of development assistance to St. Lucia and to reduce implementation bottlenecks, as very often the funds are available but the implementation is rather important. So today we have a number of development partners joining us in person as well as virtually. We have Japan, we have the EU, we have the UK, we have the OAS, we have ICA, we have the World Bank, we have the CDB, and of course we have several United Nations agencies joining us as well, basically to ensure that we provide coordinated assistance to St. Lucia. Dr. Nicholas stressed the importance of development partners to understand the development priorities for St. Lucia, as articulated by the government, which should also reflect the priorities of the private sector and civil society organizations. Coming out of this, we would have identified where the gaps are. We now understand what each development partner is bringing to the table. And so hearing from the government, what are their priorities, juxtaposing the medium-term development strategy priorities with what the development partners are offering, where are the gaps? How could we work together better to provide the support to be more strategic and more impactful and more relevant for the government of St. Lucia? The MTDS lays the roadmap on how government will tackle its priority issues while building resilience to external shocks such as the COVID-19 pandemic and the Ukraine-Russia conflict. In the MTDS, one of the priority areas is to enhance um, human capital and social resilience. So somebody going through the document would be able to see an intervention that we have um, identified to address that is improving health faci facility. We also look at um, access to housing and, and also justice and sec citizen security. There are actually specific interventions to address that. So the citizens will be able to understand what exactly is being done. So it's not just aspirational, but how we move from aspiration to impacting people every day. The medium-term development strategy is supported by a national development framework which triggers long-range planning for how citizens would like to see St. Lucia 30 to 40 years from now. The Development Partners Coordination Meeting was held at the Harbour Club in Grosely. For the National Competitiveness and Productivity Council, Glenn Simon reporting.